today I have a rather interesting specimen to share with you. It's called Hackmanite. It is from Pakistan and it has some very interesting qualities. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce it into the natural UV light from the sun and see what color it changes. I'm going to leave this sit out in the sun and I'll be back. Okay, so I just went outside and brought this in. Uh, this specimen was in the direct sun and the heat, 99 degrees again for three weeks in a row. And as you can see, there doesn't appear to be too much of a coloration change on this Hackmanite except the interior colors changed from a blue color to more of a purpley color. Now, I'm not sure if I were to leave this out in the sun, if the color would um, be more stronger of the purple or not. But this is a very interesting stone. So it's got um, some very interesting properties. And what I'm going to go ahead and do now real quick is I am just going to show you what it looks like with an N365 light in the dark. Um, so I'm going to quickly turn out my lights. Grab my light before it's totally dark. Okay, and then let's see what this does. Now, I'm not going to touch directly on the stone quite yet. Um, be aware that the plastic will, oh, look at that, like fire. Oh my goodness, you guys. So Hackmanite is, oops, that doesn't feel good. It's very hot. Hackmanite is closely related to, or a cousin of, sodalite. Now, you can go online and Google Hackmanite and learn all about it. Let me see. That was a long wave N365 light that made it glow that bright, bright orange like a fire. And I do have a short wave light. I just have to see if the batteries are charged because it's a battery killer. Okay. This light's so old and beat up. It's this little handheld flashlight. You can buy these. Uh, it's got short wave on this end, and then it's got long wave that comes out one end. Uh, it takes four AA batteries, but it looks like I had to beat the crap out of it to get it to work. Looks like the batteries are dead in this one. Let me be right back. Okay, now I changed the batteries out, and this does not glow very brightly. See, it just puts off that much light. Very small, so you have to be very close to your specimen. I do not see any distinct color changes with the shortwave light. 
And sometimes with these, you know, you get, you can see different colors with different lights. So the original light I used is this from Eric. He owns Uperlights.com, trademark. So in the, it even works in the daylight. See that? See, you can still see all that fire deep in there. Ooh, it is a warm stone. This mineral is for sale. It's $256, weighs 257 grams. So it's about a buck a gram. And if you want to order it um, today, just hit me up on in the comments. And uh, otherwise, um, I will do a special buy for you and a special discount, but I cannot disclose how much that will be here. Um, but if you're interested in this very nice specimen from Pakistan, please uh, get a hold of me on Facebook. You can go to Dremel Lapidary by Chirsten Safford Art. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Learn something new. Google Hackmanite, named after Hackman, who discovered it.